Stare at me longer. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you're cute and you have pretty eyes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't see you, but we can. Project. We're going to tell them everything you do. Whenever you're ready, Madison. My friends and I are Max. We pride ourselves on being ahead of the curve when it comes to technology. My parents are PCs, loving the reliable computer that has been with them for decades. Max are a wave of the future, equipped with everything that means anything to a generation where texting is the norm and iPods are rarely more than an arm's length away. Quick access to Facebook and Twitter are vital to youth today. We want to know everything right now. Who is doing what and where? All on our iPhone. Computers don't just send email or stream video. They define different generations and cultures. My peers and I share a growing infatuation for music and video. This is where the math comes in. Back in junior high, my school had a TV station, one of which I was a part. Those involved in the program used the key feature of Mac computers. We made videos relevant to those who watched. It was an experience that bonded those of us involved. Even if we were polar opposites, we could relate to each other through this technology. Our love of music and video was fostered and nurtured, not just with each other, but with the entire school. Macs have a certain way of relating to the user through the basic technology with which they are equipped, something the makers of PCs only long to emulate. Kids my age are always looking for the next best thing. Smaller, lighter, faster. Everything from phones to laptops has to look cool but be efficient. The newer Macs are satisfying this need for sleek technology that gets the job done. The iPad, for example, weighs only one and a half pounds and is half an inch thin. To some, it is incomprehensible that computers have evolved in such a way. But to people my age, that evolution is what's required to keep up with our ever-changing interests. With the wonderful features Mac possess, it's a wonder more people haven't switched. Many of my relatives, however, beg to differ. My grandfather is an avid PC user. To him, PCs are the most efficient technology. He strongly objects to anyone using a Mac. Computers are a topic we tend to stay away from at family dinners. Fearing a long lecture from Grandpa and possible disownment for defending Mac computers. Indeed, my grandfather, like other PC users, is a PC dinosaur, discriminating against the Macs who want the best value of picture, music, and video. The reluctance of these PC dinosaurs to join the 21st century discourages the Mac user from sharing its capabilities with those of other de generations. A big factor in why there is such a generation gap among computers and the people who use them. With our Macs firmly in hand, may we reach out to that PC dinosaur. May we be open to new ideas and experiences so that we are not one day facing extinction ourselves. 